Good morning. This is the 8 a.m. update of our winter weather impact storm. I am calling it a storm at this point because now we have the complications of ice, which we'll talk to in just a moment. But the worst thing that you can see when you're dealing with a winter storm is your snow starting to get a glaze over it. That means you have freezing rain and sleet, which is exactly what we're seeing here in Freehold at 29.7 degrees. So we've been warming up, but we're still well below freezing. And so when you have sleet and freezing rain with temperatures in the upper 20s, that's not good. And that is exactly why we are seeing a lot of schools and a lot of other organizations shut down for the day. Because, yeah, it's not a lot of snow, one to three inches, two to four inches, somewhere in that ballpark. But now you have ice for a populace that hasn't dealt with any of this in two years, which is not a good thing. Anytime you have ice, it's not a good thing, but especially now. So it's really a concern. We have updated uh, snowfall totals as of 7 a.m. from Mount Holly, which is the Philadelphia office. The New York office hasn't updated officially on their website. It's still about uh, 1 a.m., but they did put out on X that Central Park is up to 1.1 inches. So that certainly breaks the one inch mark that we haven't seen in quite some time. Now, around the Philadelphia metro, uh, basically around Delaware, anywhere between one to three inches has pretty much fallen. Pretty much verified the forecast there. Maryland, about a half an inch. Uh, last reported at 4.30 p.m. yesterday, so that's been a while. In New Jersey, Atlantic County, about one to two inches. Burlington, one to three inches. Uh, again, these were all at uh, between 12.30 and 5 a.m. Camden, around 2.6. Mercer, around one to one and a half inches so far, and that was as of 1 a.m. It's been snowing for five hours since then. Uh, Middlesex is reporting 3.5. Monmouth, 2.5. Uh, 2.3, 2.8, and that was at uh, 6.30 a.m., pretty close to my three-inch around here in Freehold. Uh, Ocean County, Lakota uh, Harbor, three inches, Brick, two and a half inches. So for the most part, the forecast has been verifying. Of course, our friends in southeastern Pennsylvania always seem to miss out on the snowfall that they want, but it's gotten pretty close, 1.8 inches as of 4.45 a.m. in Burks. Uh, 1.7 in Ben Salem, New Hope 1.5. Uh, they're approaching two inches, so I think they're going to actually make that on the low end of the forecast. And same thing down here towards the rest of southeastern Pennsylvania. Philadelphia reported 1.5 inches as of 12, 18 p.m. They're probably pretty close to two inches at this point, if not higher. We'll check on that a little bit later. So overall, the forecast that was in place pretty much evolving as expected with your higher total somewhere around the I-95 corridor. We'll see what ends up here towards the end because one of the things that we're starting to notice in the HRR guidance is a little bit more robust precipitation, not so much of a break. What we're seeing is that the short wave in the polar jet stream is starting to catch up to this front of Genesis. And now we're starting to see the precipitation blossom as a result. And you can see it very nicely here on the infrared satellite picture. See how the cloud tops are getting colder. That means stronger lifting starting to take shape as our 500 millibar short wave starts to interact with all this lifting. And so that is what we're starting to see with our precipitation. Let's see if we can get an update here. And... Yeah, you're starting to see this feature right here become sustained and this area of snowfall is starting to grow. Got a report of some moderate snowfall showing up right around uh, the Hudson River Valley. Snowfall starting to pick up around uh, just to the west of Staten Island, heading into the New York City metro. And again, we have this back end here that we're going to be dealing with. So this is expected to fill in. And when you have temperatures that right along the coast, we've gotten to freezing or just above Wildwood, down around Wildwood, 40 degrees. So definitely all rain there. Southern New Jersey expected to go over to rain, so that's not a surprise. So there is our freezing line as expected pushing in. But a little bit further inland, we're talking about temperatures in the upper 20s with sleet, freezing rain. And you're seeing that on Long Island. The east end of Long Island, you're seeing a change over to rain. Central and Western Long Island, you're seeing temperatures in the upper 30s to lower, uh, upper 20s to lower 30s, with reports of light snow continuing. And again, northeastern Pennsylvania, you're going to stay all snow, but it's going to be relatively light uh, for the most part. So, what are we seeing in the latest HRR guidance? 
Well, not so much of a breakup. As we head to about 9.15 a.m., the precipitation really intensifies, and you're going to be dealing with a lot of sleet and freezing rain along the I-95 corridor as a result of that. As that warm air at the mid-levels tries to push in, the, fr the ice and rain line is going to be basically cutting through central Long Island and then over northeastern Monmouth County down towards, let's say, about the bisecting Monmouth County through Ocean County down towards the coast of uh, the the Delaware Bay down towards southern New Jersey, uh, the southern suburbs of Philadelphia, freezing rain and sleet. So this is not a good situation here where you're dealing with sleet and freezing rain at the heart of the morning rush hour. And then we change back over to snow as this comes to an end. So now we have periods of ice and then coming over as snow and time still the same from 140, 1.30 over the Philadelphia Metro to about 3 o'clock around the New York City Metro and 5 o'clock for Eastern Long Island and Connecticut. But the one change that we are seeing, which is supportive by the strong lifting that we're starting to see, is more widespread, moderate, possibly even some heavy precipitation developing here as we move on through the morning hours. It looks like some heavy bursts of precipitation from 8 a.m., which is now, and growing through noon with sleet and freezing rain on the I-95 corridor, rain on the immediate New Jersey coast and around Long, around uh, eastern Long Island. New York City, you're dealing with ice. To north and west of New York City, you're dealing with light to moderate snowfall, with snowfall likely accumulating up there. And then we all end as snow as the storm comes to an end later on this afternoon. That is your update for this hour. I'll be back for the next hour. And as always, stay safe out there.